Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Streamlabs tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be doing an overview of the brand new Streamlabs Creator Sites. This is a brand new feature that Streamlabs has just released, and what it is is basically a free way to create a really awesome website for your Twitch channel or your YouTube channel. There's no need to know HTML or CSS, and you can build a great looking website using predefined themes and drag and drop. You also have the ability to integrate all of your social media accounts so that you can grow your brand and increase your following. And real quick before we get started, I just want to say this is a brand new feature so some things might change. If there's anything that's different, let me know in the comments and I'll do an updated video. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is simply go to streamlabs.com and log into your account. In the sidebar you'll see a new menu item and that is my website. Go ahead and click that, that's going to open up the beta version of the creator site. Once you're in the editor, it'll look very similar to other website building tools that are on the internet, such as Wix or even WordPress. In the left side, you have all of the options that you can change on the website. On the right side right here, you kind of have an example of what your website will look like. And as you can see, as I hovered over different panels, it kind of highlights them so I can select those and change individual things about them. On the top here, you can select the address for your website. And I do think it's important to point out here that they do have a free version and then a paid version. And if you're interested in that, check the description. I'll have some information as well as a promo code that'll get you $10 off. Over here on the right side of the top, we have a little toggle where we can change the layout and what the screen looks like. So you can kind of see what your website will look like on a phone, tablet, or a desktop computer and then you can go ahead and save your changes that you've made to your website. So the way that the creator sites works is it's kind of an interactive way to build a website. As you can see, when I hover over different portions of my site, I can change things about them. So my title right here, I can edit the title, change the way that looks, add a space if I need to, go ahead and save it. I can add new tiles by hitting the plus button, kind of change the layout a little bit, or with pre-existing tiles that I've already added, I can change the component settings or delete them by just hovering over them. So I can select this and it's gonna bring up these settings right here. So you can change the background, you can change different things about them. So basically, when you get in here, you wanna kinda of play around, just look around and see what options you have. Now going back to the left sidebar right here, as you can see, the first option is going to be themes. So looking at the themes here, at the time of filming, there are only 12 available. And some of these you actually have to pay for. So to find out if you have to pay for it, you wanna hover over it and you'll see right here, see that little prime where it says prime? That means you have to have Streamlabs Prime, which actually costs money. So some of the other themes like Fortnite or Portals, those are free. I'm gonna do the classic night theme right here because that is also a free theme. So I'm just gonna select apply theme. All right, so now that I've shown you the themes that are available, let's go over to the left sidebar and we'll select domain, which is the next item in the sidebar. So domain is going to control the website address for your new website. Now Streamlabs does give you a free version right here. As you can see, mine is streamlabs.com slash gauging gadgets slash V2. And the V2 is there because I already have a Streamlabs address for donations. So that's a little bit of a limitation. If you're already using donations through Streamlabs, your website address will have a harder to remember address but they do have the option below to get a much easier to remember and communicate website address, such as, you know, gauginggadgets.live or .stream, .tv. But the only problem is you're gonna have to buy Streamlabs Prime, which as you can see is $149 a year. There's no monthly version. So it's a little bit pricey, but if you're willing to put that money in, you get a lot of different features with Streamlabs Prime, such as the themes that you have to pay for. You get an email address that is actually using your new website address. You can customize the CSS of your theme. You also have advanced security and advanced SEO. And the SEO is going to help you get in search engines to help more people find your website. Now, if you're interested in using Streamlabs Prime, check the description below. I have a promo code that you can use to get $10 off. But for now, I'm just gonna use the free version. All right, so going back to the creator site, the next option we have is design. And this is where you can change the background. You can upload an image. You can also change all of the colors as well as create borders change the font, and then change different font colors. So this is where you have the ability to kind of create your own theme, change the design. Now, if you wanted to change the CSS, if you know any of that, you can only do that if you upgrade to Streamlabs Prime, unfortunately. But as you can see, we can get in here, there's tons of different font available, and you have the ability to change the font color, kind of make it look like your own. In here, we can also edit the site as we're making the design. So if you kind of wanted to do those at the same time, I'm just gonna update the site title right here so that it looks a little bit better and it's easier to read. All 
All right, so that was a quick overview of the design. Next, let's get into the content. We can see what we can add to our site. Now, most of these are gonna be free. There are a couple limitations here. The first is going to be contact form that requires Streamlabs Prime. And then also you can add different pages and external links, but that's gonna require Streamlabs Prime. So you're not gonna be able to have any affiliate links or links to other websites. You're gonna be limited by what is available here in the content section. So as you can see, we have feed, and I'm not sure why this is not working for me, but this should show all of your past videos for Twitch or YouTube. You can, you can even add your own post here. So it's kind of an all encompassing component of your website. After that, we have the ability to add a custom image. And as you can see here, that's just gonna be one that you upload and you can link that to anything you want. So if you wanted to, this is where you can do some external links as well as affiliate linking. The next item is going to be your donation leaderboard. After that, we have live stream, and this is where you can add your live stream. So once you go live, it'll start playing right here on your website. This might be one of the most important components, and I recommend having it near the top if you live stream a lot. This is compatible with both Twitch and YouTube. After that, we have loyalty, and this is similar to your Streamlabs loyalty extension in Twitch. Next, we have merch, and this is going to be if you're using Streamlabs merch. This is where you can display the different merch you have available. People can click on it and purchase it. It also shows the price there as well. Next, we have schedule. You can put a streaming schedule whenever you're gonna be posting YouTube videos, anything like that. After that, we have social reach. So you do have the ability to add different social media accounts to this creator's site. You do that by selecting the component settings right here. Currently, the only social media platforms that are compatible are going to be Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and Discord. But this is kind of what it will look like. It shows how many followers you have and it allows people to click on them as well. So they can go directly to your social media. Text, this is where you can add some text to your website. And these are the options right here for editing the text. It does look like you have the ability to do external links. So I'm not sure why it says right here that it's only limited to Prime, but I did add an external link to Google and it allows me to click on it. I can click it right here and it works for me. So I'm not sure why they're saying that, but external links are working right now. Maybe they'll limit that in the future, I'm not sure. But they do have a basic text editor where you can make text bold, you can do external links, you can have header text and all different things like that, add quotes. So it's pretty cool. The next option is going to be tips. So this is where you would allow people to tip you directly from your page, which is cool because on the same page where people could be watching your stream, they're gonna be able to tip you as well. The next one is going to be Twitch panel. This is pretty interesting. With this, you can basically import any panel you have on your Twitch channel page. So as you can see, I'll go into the component settings. Up at the top here in the drop down, it'll show me all the different panels I have on my Twitch channel. If I select one, all I need to do is select import it'll bring it in and then that panel is now on my creator site. So, so it's a very easy way to move things over from your Twitch channel to your creator site very quickly. And all of the links work as well. So another example of the external links working. Next we have Twitter feed and this is where it will add your latest tweets, things like that from Twitter, which can be very useful. And then finally we have YouTube and this is where you can add a playlist or just individual YouTube videos to your creator site. So as you can see right here in the component settings, you simply add a video URL or playlist URL, select import, and then it adds a really good 3D component with all the videos in that playlist. Pretty cool. All right, so now that we've gone through the different templates, components, and different things you can add to your creator site through Streamlabs, I'll go ahead and build mine. It probably won't be the best creator site, but you can kind of see how it works from there. And hopefully from that, you can build your own and it'll look better than mine. So the first thing we need to do on our creator site is add a row. Just hit the little plus button and that'll give you the option to select a layout. So I'm gonna select this layout that has a kind of a slim right sidebar. First, I'm gonna drag my live stream into the left section and then I'll put my tips and my donations into the right component right here. So people can watch my stream and then they can donate at the same time. After that, I'm gonna add another row to the bottom. And in this one, I'm gonna select a layout that has three split sections, one of them being larger. I'm gonna add the social reach to the left sidebar. Then I'm gonna have my Twitter feed right here. And then I'm gonna put my merch all the way to the right. After that, I'm just gonna add one of the YouTube panels right there, so one large section. Remember, you can edit all of these components once you add them. So I'll just add a playlist to that, import it. So now that'll help people find my videos on YouTube. And then finally for me, the bottom panel is just going to be an image, kind of like a footer. So I'll do that real quick. So I'll go ahead and upload the image. 
So right now, I think I'm done building my website right now. <clears throat> Let's go and take a look at what I've built so far. So it's pretty basic right now. As you can see, I have my Twitch channel right here, some donations, social information, my Twitter, some merch, my YouTube videos, and then a nice footer image. Now, one thing I did want to point out is automatically, because I added some social media, you get the social media links at the top, and these open directly to those social media pages, which is really nice. Another thing, it automatically will add different pages to the top menu. So it'll take people to things such as your donation page, your merch, different things like that automatically because you added that to your page. And one last thing I think is very important to point out that I think is really cool. Over here in the right section, you have this little pop out. If I click that, it shows the chat from my stream. So basically people can come to my creator site, they can watch my stream, and they can also participate in the Twitch chat which in my opinion is really cool. It makes the site much more useful. So that was a quick overview of the creator site from Streamlabs Prime. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Streamlabs or Twitch tutorial videos, check the link in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.